Does your daily routine feel like a never-ending roller coaster ride of stress and tension? It's a universal experience, isn't it? The hustle of everyday life, juggling responsibilities, meeting deadlines, all these can contribute to a mounting sense of stress and we're all aware, aren't we, how this invisible pressure can take a toll on our health and well-being. It's a silent battle we're all fighting, but what if we told you it doesn't have to be this way? If, if stress is becoming a constant companion, it's time to reclaim your peace. Let's dive into simple and practical tips to manage stress effectively. Stress, often considered as an enemy, is merely your body's response to changes and challenges. It's a natural part of life that everyone experiences. Stress can come from anywhere, be it a looming work deadline, a pile of unpaid bills, or even a sudden unexpected life event. It's your body's way of saying, hey, something's up, let's deal with this. But stress isn't always a bad thing. In fact, there are two kinds of stress, eustress and distress. Eustress, commonly known as good stress, can be a motivating force. Ever felt that rush of adrenaline before a big presentation or competition? That's eustress at work, pushing you to perform at your best. On the other hand, we have distress or bad stress. This is the type of stress that keeps you up at night, that makes you feel overwhelmed and anxious. If left unchecked, this kind of stress can lead to both physical and mental health issues, including headaches, heart disease, and depression. So, how can you tell the difference? It's all about how you react. If stress is pushing you to achieve your goals, it's likely eustress. But if it's causing you to feel overwhelmed and unable to cope, that's distress. The key is to recognize these feelings and act accordingly. Remember, it's not the stress, but how you respond to it that determines its impact on your life. The first step towards managing stress is identifying your stressors. Let's dive in, shall we? Stress triggers, also known as stressors, are unique to each individual. What may stress me out might not even phase you and vice versa. That's the interesting thing about stress. It's highly personal and subjective. It's not one size fits all. For some, it might be a looming deadline at work or an overwhelming to-do list. For others, it could be relationship issues, financial concerns, or even matters of health. It could be minor aggravations like traffic jams or major life changes like moving homes or starting a new job. The thing to remember here is that stressors are not always negative. Even positive events like a promotion, a wedding, or the birth of a child can cause stress. It's not about the event or situation itself, but rather how we perceive and respond to it. Now, since stress triggers are so individualized, it's crucial to identify your own. One way to do this is by keeping a stress diary. Yes, you heard it right, a stress diary. It's a simple yet effective tool to track and analyze your personal stress triggers. In your stress diary, make a note of each time you feel stressed. Write down what you were doing, who you were with, where you were, and how you felt both physically and emotionally. You can also rate the intensity of the stress on a scale from 1 to 10. Over time, you might begin to see patterns and common themes. This exercise is not about judging or criticizing yourself, but about observing and understanding. It's about gaining insights into your stress patterns and identifying the triggers that you might not have been aware of. Remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Once you've identified your stressors, you can start to think about how to manage them. Maybe it's about changing your response to the stressor, or maybe it's about avoiding the stressor altogether. The point is, once you know your triggers, it becomes easier to devise a strategy to manage them. So start today. Start now. Grab a notebook, start your stress diary, and take that first step towards a stress-free life. Now that we've identified our stress triggers, it's time to tackle them head on. Stress is like a stubborn weed that keeps growing back no matter how many times we try to pluck it out. But with the right tools and techniques, we can keep it under control effectively. So let's dive into some stress management techniques that can help us lead a more balanced and peaceful life. Firstly, deep breathing. This technique is as simple as it sounds, yet it's incredibly powerful. When we're under stress, our breathing tends to become shallow and rapid. By consciously controlling our breath and taking deep, slow inhalations and exhalations, we can signal our body to calm down. It's like pressing a reset button on our nervous system. Next, meditation. This ancient practice has been celebrated for thousands of years for its calming and focusing effects. It's not about emptying our mind or achieving a state of eternal bliss. Rather, it's about observing our thoughts without judgment 
and returning our focus to the present moment. Whether it's a simple mindfulness practice or a guided meditation, even a few minutes a day can make a significant difference. Now let's talk about exercise. You might be thinking, what does exercise have to do with stress? Quite a lot, actually. Exercise releases endorphins, our body's natural feel-good chemicals, which act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga class, or a high-intensity workout, find something you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. Moving on to maintaining a healthy diet. What we eat and drink can significantly affect our mood and energy levels. Consuming too much caffeine or sugar can send us on an energy roller coaster, leaving us feeling jittery and then crashing. Instead, opt for balanced meals with lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains to maintain steady energy levels throughout the day. Getting enough sleep is another crucial aspect of stress management. Our body and mind need time to rest and rejuvenate. While it might be tempting to cut back on sleep to get more done, it's counterproductive in the long run. So, make sleep a priority and create a calming bedtime routine to signal your body that it's time to wind down. Lastly, taking time for hobbies. Whether it's painting, playing an instrument, gardening, or anything else that brings you joy, hobbies can be a great stress reliever. They allow us to step away from our daily stresses and immerse ourselves in activities we love. Remember, these techniques are not a one-time fix. They require regular practice and consistency. And while it may seem like a lot, incorporating even one or two of these techniques into your daily routine can make a significant difference. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate stress, but to manage it effectively. So let's embrace these techniques and navigate our journey toward a more balanced and stress-free life. If you change the way you think, you can change the way you feel. This sentiment perfectly captures the power of maintaining a positive mindset. When we choose positivity, we are choosing to see the world in a brighter light. We are choosing to appreciate the good rather than dwelling on the bad. Let's delve into some simple ways to cultivate this positivity. First off, practicing gratitude. It's easy to get caught up in what's going wrong in our lives, but when we take a moment to acknowledge the good, we can shift our focus from negative to positive. It's as simple as writing down three things you're grateful for each day. This practice can effectively rewire your brain to seek out the positive. Next, surround yourself with positive people. The company we keep greatly influences our mindset. When we surround ourselves with positive individuals, their energy is contagious. We start to see the world through their optimistic lens, and this can greatly enhance our own positivity. Lastly, harness the power of positive affirmations. These are short, powerful statements that when spoken or written, become the thoughts that shape our reality. By consistently repeating affirmations like I am capable, I am strong, or I am enough, we can start to believe them and see them manifest in our lives. A positive mindset is not about ignoring life's problems, it's about approaching them from a more hopeful and productive perspective. So let's embrace positivity and see the remarkable difference it can make in our lives. Remember, living a stress-free life doesn't mean you won't face challenges, it simply means you'll have the tools and resilience to navigate them with grace and balance. This has been a journey of understanding, identifying, and managing stress, and we've come a long way together. Let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned. We started by understanding stress, recognizing that it's a normal part of life, but not one that should take the driver's seat. Identifying our stress triggers was our next step, which can be as unique as our fingerprints, from deadlines at work to personal relationships. We then dived deep into stress management techniques. Remember, it's essential to find what works best for you, whether that's meditative practices, regular exercise, or simply making time for hobbies and activities that bring you joy. We also discussed the importance of maintaining a positive mindset. Remember, our thoughts often shape our reality, so keep your focus on the brighter side of things, even when the going gets tough. However, the most crucial point to remember is to be patient with yourself. Stress management is a process, not a destination. It's about learning, growing, and adapting. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. With consistent efforts, you can turn the tide against stress and lead a happier, healthier life. Thank you for watching. And remember, you have the power to manage your stress.